brand new Ching Rice video and today we are going to be doing a video about brushing Tui Tui uh, because he's looking a bit messy since the coronavirus he was actually going to go for um, a brush and a clean good boy um, but due to the coronavirus he couldn't go um, so I'm going to do it myself I'm not sure he'll look as pampered as he does when he comes out the Poochie Parlour but anyway we will see so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's go on with the video. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with this brush, which uh, if you watched uh, the other day's video, I'm not sure when it was, um, but if you watched that video, you will know what this brush is. It's just for getting the big knots out, so if we do that now, I'm going to start here, on the back. having his front paws done. This. this is like tummy slash chest area. And now the... Okay, so now if I... I will just do his other half and then we will get on to the other part um, of brushing him. Okay, so now on to the frizzy part. So this brush really makes Trig really frizzy. Um, that's what I like about it. You can tell I've been brushing him because of my trousers and my jumper. They're a mess. Um, so yeah, let's just make him a bit frizzy. So if we start with the face, because he doesn't really like the face, so to get it open to me now. He's a good boy. I have to do this quite gen gently because he doesn't like it, so I don't want him to become scared of brush. There we go. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Okay, so now I will start with the back legs. And move up. Start here. Okay, there we go. I know. And now the front legs and chest. I know. There we go. So now he's pretty frizzy and if you start the video from the beginning you will see how it's changed and how the brushes really work. And so now uh, we will put the perfume on him. Okay, so if you um, if you rewind the video and look at him from the beginning, you'll see how much both of these brushes have worked, and that's why I love them so much. They've got out so many um, knit, knits, knots, sorry. <laughs> um, um, so that's really good. And now just to make him um, smell a bit nicer, because, you know, not having been for a wash for I don't know how long, um, I will just put some perfume on him, which if you watched our video the other day, um, I described to you and told you how much it was. And we just put it uh, like here, so like at the back of the head, in the, uh, in the middle, and by his tail, and then we just brush it in. I forgot to do his tail, I can't believe I forgot to do his tail. So yeah, just brush that in a bit so that it's not all in one spot. And yeah, that's a, that's about it. That's about what we do. Um, obviously, if he'd just been in the bath, we would um, do a bit more because obviously he'd be a bit wet and he'd probably have a little bit more knots. But yeah, that's 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 about it. Um, so yeah, it really, really works with these two brushes. You should really go get some if um, you want to groom your dog at home or in these sort of circumstances um, so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, 
and I hope you guys uh, now know or know how I at least um, brush trade. Special thanks to my brother Curtis who I think did absolutely brilliantly with the camera. Um, um, so yeah, please like, subscribe, share and comment below about uh, what you use to groom your dog at home. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so stay safe guys. Bye.